My great-grandfather was a sawyer back in the days before steamships when everything went by sail. Back then, all of Europe needed masts for their navies, but most of the countries had cut down their big trees. England, great-grandfather had said, didn't have a tree worth its wood on the entire island. So the mass for the British, the Spanish, and the Portuguese too would come from Prussia, from the woods where I came from. Great-grandfather knew where all the giants were. Some of those trees would take a crew of five, five men, nearly three days to bring down. First, the wedges would go in, like needles, he said, in the hide of an elephant. The biggest trunks could swallow a hundred wedges before they'd creak. Great-grandfather said he'd love to imagine the big trees sledding behind teams of horses across Europe, across rivers, across the sea to Britain, where they'd be stripped and treated and raised up again as masts, where they'd see decades of battles, given a second life, sailing atop the great oceans, until eventually they'd fall and die their second death.